Hi, this is Chris from the Project Management Guide. This video is called How to Take Over a Project. Four steps to help you take a project over from someone else. As project managers, we're often asked to take over projects from other people. And even if you're not a project manager, you might have been asked to take over a project from someone else too. So in this video, I'm going to cover four steps uh, that you can use to help you take over the project from somebody else. It's a really simple process. I think it should really help you to understand what you're getting yourself into when you take the project over. So the first step is to meet everybody involved in the project. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to understand the project. So the first person to meet probably is the person that handed the project over, the manager or whoever it is that's handed you handed you the project. And the, then the next person to I would probably go and meet would be the project manager that's handed the project over to you or the person that's currently running the project. Assuming that they still exist or they're still with the company or the organisation etc. And then what I would do is I'd review the documentation. So take a look at all of the project plans, the governance documentation in terms of project boards or status reports, or all those sort of things. Look at any technical doc documentation. You're really trying to understand what the project's all about. And then I would talk to the project teams as the delivery teams. So that could be the, your internal project teams, your suppliers, the vendors, or anybody that's working on the project for you, etc. And then finally, in this in this step, I'd look. I talk to the project sponsor, or the customer, or the key, and then also the key stakeholders on the project as well. So step two is to understand where we are in the project right now. So you really need to get into the details. So all of the people that you've met that are working on the project, you need to interview them effectively and understand the project objectives, understand what's been delivered so far, understand where we are on the timeline on the project, understand where the budget is in terms of how much we've spent so far, and understand what our current challenges are, what our risks are on the project, and really get into what our current issues are on the project as well. So understanding where we are on the project is going to take quite a long time, I should think. It might take several weeks, it could, could even take longer. And you, you know, you're in an advantageous situation for the first few weeks of the project because you are pretty new to the project. So you can ask lots of questions and you can really understand uh, where the project is and, and you know, what, what's been going on on the project. So you really want to get into the detail during that period and ask all those daft questions that you might not have been able to ask later on in the project. So you really need to get into that detail and talk to all of those people that have been working on the project for some time. And then you really need to document everything and write it all down and gather all the information together into a coherent uh, you, a coherent document that you can use um, to understand the project and to communicate it with other people as well to be clear that you've understood the project properly. Sometimes when you take over a project you're, you're asked to put a report together and, and gather all the information together and report back to your, to your manager or the project management team that, that you're working for etc. But sometimes you're just literally just chucked in at the deep end and you've got to get on and, and, and start running the project. But I urge you to, to document it and do some sort of report even if it's just for your own internal use. Um, and you need to, what you're trying to do is you're trying to highlight the gaps that you think that are, there are in the plan or in the project documentation or any other gaps uh, uh, that you've got in the project. So when you've done your investigations, th this brings us on to step three. So it's useful really to, to pause at this point and then get everybody together and they just check that your understanding of the project is, is the same as what everybody else's understanding of the project is. So you're checking that the budget is aligned with what was originally set out and that you're still on track to do that. You're clear, that you're clear about what the objectives are um, and that everybody's pulling in the right direction and everybody's on the same page basically. So you really need to understand, that, make sure that you've got a full understanding of what the scope of the project is, where we're at, at on the timeline, where we're at, if everybody agrees the approach for the project and what the priorities are. And everybody from top to bottom in, bottom in the project needs to be fully aligned with, with what, the, what the, uh, the project plan document says and what, what the objectives are. And so you need to get that documented, I would say, and get that all agreed 
if it if it hasn't been agreed already so and sometimes you might need to bite that off in small pieces and you might need to sort of maybe do just to re-agree the objectives clarify the scope rather than doing it all in one document and going back to the start of the project you might need to bite it off in small small pieces and just get you know individual elements of it agreed with with the stakeholders and, and and the sponsor for example as as you as you as you get to this point but it's really important i think that you pause the project momentarily and then just check that we're all in agreement and then restart the project properly so once we've got agreement that we're all on the same page for the project, that everybody, the project's sort of going in the right direction, um, we're all agreed on where we want to go. Um, we, we, you know, we, now we can do step four, which is actually carry on with, uh, continue with the delivery, um, continue with the project delivery. So obviously we need, we need to address any gaps. We need to carry on with the project governance. So we need to carry on with a project board, assuming that we've had, we have one. If we haven't got one, I suggest we set one up as quickly as we can. Um, I've got other videos on what a project board is, so you can you can certainly have a look at that. And then once we've got once once we've got the project running, um, and we're in charge of it effectively, then we can review the project uh, regularly as we go along. So this was a very quick introduction on how to take over a project that's already in flight and already taken or we'll take it over from somebody else. So the first step is to meet everybody involved in the project. And the second step is to understand exactly where we are from the project. The third step is to make sure that everybody's aligned. So we pause and we check that everybody's aligned on the project, then we're all going in the same direction and get all that agreement in place. And then finally, the fourth step is to continue or restart the project delivery. So these four steps, I think, if you follow those, if, you, if you've got a project that's been handed over to you, then, you know, I think if you use these, do, you just follow this simple four steps, and I think it will really help you to get your, your project moving in the right direction. And give it also give you a lot of confidence as well in, in that you're going, that your project is running effectively and that you know what you're doing and where you're going on the project. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe on the button below. I do loads more project management type content. Um, please leave any comments below. I'd love to hear about how you're getting on with your projects that have been handed over or anything else. Any other comments or questions that you've got, please feel, feel free to ask me. If you want to find out more information, you can find us at the projectmanagementguide.com and I'll see you in the next video.